Ciprofloxacin, also known as otiprio, is a medication used to treat bacterial ear infections, such as swimmer's ear or ear canal infections. It works by stopping the growth of bacteria. This medication belongs to a class of drugs called quinolone antibiotics. It is important to note that otiprio only treats bacterial ear infections and will not work for other types of ear infections. Using this antibiotic when it is not needed can cause it to not work for future infections. The recommended daily dosage and optimal timing for taking otiprio should be discussed with a healthcare professional. This medication is administered into the infected ears by a healthcare professional. It is given as directed by your doctor, typically as a single dose. If your condition does not improve within 7 days or if it worsens, be sure to inform your doctor. If you experience discomfort, pain, or itching in your ear, it's important to let your doctor or pharmacist know right away. This medication has been prescribed to you because your doctor believes that the benefits outweigh the potential side effects. While many people don't experience serious side effects, using this medication for a long time or repeatedly may result in a new bacterial or fungal ear infection. It's important to follow the prescribed dosage and contact your doctor if you notice any new or worsening symptoms. While it's rare, if you have a serious allergic reaction such as rash, swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing, seek medical help immediately. If you notice any other effects not mentioned here, be sure to contact your doctor or pharmacist. Before using Otiprio 6%, 6 mg per 0.1 ml, intratympanic suspension otic antibiotics, make sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist about any allergies you may have, especially to other quinolone antibiotics. This product may contain inactive ingredients that can cause allergic reactions, so it's important to discuss any potential risks with your healthcare provider. It's also important to share your medical history with your doctor or pharmacist before using this medication. If you are planning to have surgery, make sure to inform your doctor or dentist about all the products you are using, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. If you are pregnant, otiprio should only be used when clearly needed. It's best to discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor before using this medication. Additionally, it's unclear whether ciprofloxacin in this eardrop passes into breast milk, so it's important to consult your doctor before using this medication while breastfeeding. When using Otiprio 6%, 6 mg per 0.1 ml, intratympanic suspension otic antibiotics, it's important to be aware of potential drug interactions as they may affect how the medication works and increase the risk of serious side effects. Make sure to keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription and non-prescription drugs, as well as herbal products, and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. It's crucial not to start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. This will help ensure the safe and effective use of Otiprio 6%, 6 mg per 0.1 ml, intratympanic suspension otic antibiotics. If this medicine is swallowed, it can be harmful. If someone takes too much and experiences severe symptoms like passing out or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical help. In the U.S., you can call your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. If you're in Canada, you can call a provincial poison control center. Make sure to attend all of your scheduled medical appointments and laboratory tests. It's crucial to keep the affected ears free from moisture. Be careful not to get the affected ears wet during bathing and avoid swimming unless advised by your doctor. Otiprio 6%, 6 mg per 0.1 ml, intratympanic suspension otic antibiotics is used to treat children with bilateral otitis media with effusion undergoing tympanostomy tube placement. It is administered by a healthcare professional in a clinical setting as a single dose during surgery. This medication helps to prevent infection and reduce the need for repeat surgery. The optimal timing for administration is during the tympanostomy tube placement surgery. The daily dosage is determined by the healthcare professional based on the individual patient's needs. This medication is administered by a healthcare professional in a medical setting and is not meant to be stored or used at home. It is used to treat children with bilateral otitis media with effusion undergoing tympanostomy tube placement. The recommended dose is 0.1 ml, 6 mg, administered into each affected ear by a healthcare professional during the surgical procedure. 
The optimal timing for administration will be determined by the healthcare provider. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.